Hello guys, how are you today? Hi teacher. Hi Alejandra, Álvaro, Vladimir dice que va a estar de oyente, José, Carlitos. Vamos a esperar un poquito a los demás, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Cómo se dice que tengo tos? Cough. 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 K-O-F-F. -F. Ajá, sí se pronuncia. Ok. Cough. Yo también estoy enferma. Eso no todo. No, no. Yo creo que estamos tan contaminados que yo hoy sí me, me estaba enfermando un montón de, de la gripe y así. Hay varias personas con, con gripe. Por lo menos en el kinder de la, de la Andrea, <coughs> mi hija, perdón. Este, la primera semana le dio gripe a unos, se enfermaron. Luego la gestión, la, 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 la quiero ver, encubaron otros. Y otra vez están así ya rotándose la gripe. Ay. La de no acabar, Ticha. La de no acabar. Vamos a ver quién me ha escrito. En el grupo dice, me pueden mandar el link. Marito. Let's say, let's copy the link. Ya les mandamos el link a los compañeros. Ya se van a conectar. Coach, yo creo que no estoy en el chat de, de WhatsApp. No, ¿y eso por qué? No sabe. No sé. No, no sé. En el... Nunca recibió ningún mensaje de, 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 no, de un grupo. No, lo que pasa es que va, este, los enlaces que le mandaron en un correo electrónico. Ajá. Va, ahí aparece uno que dice unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Oh. I need to talk to them. ¿Cómo dice? I need to touch the link. No. Si quiere, pero no sé si me le funciona el de nosotros. Pero sí es necesario tenerlo porque a veces suben info ahí. Ok. De parte de ellos, ¿verdad? Alvarito se tomó vacación el viernes, ¿va? Sí, no, 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 vacaciones, no, no, salí tarde de trabajar. Good evening, Good evening. everyone. Sí. Uy, trabajando tarde, uy. Sí, fui a Metapan. Trajo crema y queso. <ríe> no quedó tiempo. No queda tiempo. Este, ¿Cómo se llama? Hay una zona aquí que colinda entre Metapán y Chalatenango. ¿Qué se la, llama? La longitudinal es la calle, ¿va? Chaval. Es la. No es llama? Santa Rosa Huachipilín. Más adelante. Ah, pues no sé. Ya me voy a acordar. Guajoyo, no, no sé. No, es ahí nomás está. Ya me voy a acordar del lugar. Que es bien, bien ruido para recordar los lugares. O sea que andaba súper lejos. Bien lejos. Lejos, lejos. Chalate es. Ah, Chalatenango. 
Mm -hmm. Charatenango. ¿Quién es, quién, ¿Quién es de Oriente aquí? Del país. No todos son de San Salvador, creo hoy. Solo nosotros somos santanecos, Ticha. No, Silvita también, yo creo que. Mm. ¿Quién más es de, de Santana? Yo. Carlitos también, dice. No, pues sí. Y de, y de, de Oriente, Morazán, Cabañas, San Miguel. Hoy no, hoy no hay. Yo admiro a esas personas, ¿saben por qué? A ustedes los admiro también. Pero a esas personas los admiro un poco más, ¿saben por qué? Honestamente, tienen mala señal, Norberto también, tienen tan mala señal y aún así son bien persistentes. Porque cuando hablan le, y se escucha bien cortado y todo, y, y es increíble, pues a pesar, imagínense, trabajan y todo. Y ahora tener mala señal cualquiera se desmotiva, ¿verdad? Y ahí están. No sé por qué hay tan mala señal. Será la, la no sé, no sé. Si alguien trabaja contigo, que... claro, lo siento. Culpa de ti y claro. <risa> Ya me van a censurar el video a mí. <risa> Siempre trato de no traerle videos ni nada para que no me lo... Mentira, tito, muy clarito. Ok, guys, vamos a ver, ya, ya estamos 19. Vamos a ver. De San Vicente, dice, de San Vicente, este, pero Norberto tiene buena señal. Quiero ver. Qué lástima. Qué lástima, Dinorita, tiene problemas, dice, quiero ver. Va, let's start, guys. Ok. What do you remember about the last class? What do you remember? I remember that uh, we talk about uh, talk about uh, nouns com conta and in a in 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 countable nouns and countable nouns. Excellent. Thank you, Silvita. Yes, we were talking about countable and non-countable nouns, right? Remember, we use countable nouns as the word said. We can count them. Los podemos contar, yes? En, en pocas palabras, en una palabra, los podemos pluralizar. Eso es. Sí, Son, se pueden pluralizar. Es como en español. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir dos sillas, pero verdad que no, no puedo decir dos azúcar. Si se fijan, es lo mismo. No, 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 sino que yo digo, ¿cómo compramos lo, lo, la, los salvadoreños el azúcar? Por libra, ¿verdad? Por libras. Entonces serían, por ejemplo, I need five, five pounds of sugar, por ejemplo, necesito... Cinco libras de azúcar, yes. Poquito de sal, decimos, entonces, little, little salt, sí. No decimos, deme, deme un, un sal, ¿verdad? Un grano de sal, no, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí es cuando nosotros tenemos que... ¿Qué dice dos tráficos? Cabal, no podemos decir, no era dos tráficos. Viera que hay dos tráficos. Aunque nosotros los salvadoreños sí decimos, hay un tráfico, ¿verdad? pero es un dicho. O sea, es un dicho de uno, ¿verdad? There are traffic. Hola. There are traffic. Ajá, there is traffic, porque es ah, no es uno. There ah, is uno. traffic. Acuérdese que usamos there is 
Porque no se puede contar si decimos there is traffic. O sea, hay tráfico, ¿verdad? Pero si there decir, is too much alguna... traffic. There is too much traffic, yes. Perdón, Álvaro. Pero si quiero decir, habían varios, eh, porque como de repente uno va por varias zonas y habían varios, no, pero no, tampoco, varios tráficos. No, no pueden haber, por ejemplo, puede ¿verdad? decir, este, eh, there is traffic in, in San Vicente, in Santa Ana, sí, es uno solo. One no. traffic. Traffic, sí, traffic. Y, y lo que decía Morena, too much traffic or much traffic. A lot of traffic, eso son medidas de cantidad que podemos utilizar con los contables y los no contables, dependiendo. Acuérdese que para, para, para no contable es más, para contable es many cuando es mucho, ¿verdad? Para, para, lo vamos a ver eso ahora, las medidas de cantidad, les voy a mostrar los videos siempre de platform y vamos a hablar un poco más. Y vamos a hacer una speaking activity. Ok. Many es para los, para los no contables. Many contables, ok. Porque los... decimos, va, hablando siempre del tráfico, ¿cómo podemos hacer la pregunta? ¿Quién se anima? Va siempre, acuérdese, va. Le vamos a preguntar, dice Álvaro que fue a Chalatena. Le preguntamos a Álvaro, ¿cómo le podemos preguntar? Bueno, Mario. ¿Cómo está el tráfico? ¿Cuál es el tráfico? No sé en dónde es. ¿Cómo es el tráfico? ¿Cómo es el tráfico? ¿Cómo es el tráfico? Puede ser una. ¿Qué otra opción hay? How much traffic is in Chalatenango? Excelente. How much traffic, ok. Muy bien. Are there a lot of traffic in Santa Elena? Is there y ahorita, ok? Porque como es un conto, ¿sí? Is there. ¿Sí? Acuérdese que me siento como Carlitos de los Rurats. Acuérdese que que como pluralizamos cuando ya hay una medida de cantidad, ¿sí? Ahí sí podemos pluralizar. Porque ya no decimos, por ejemplo, quiero ver, algo que no se pueda contar. Ya vamos a ver un ejemplo así, pero cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, de... I want, va por ejemplo, I want two, two spoons, two spoons of sugar, ¿sí? Sugar probable, eh, sugar no es contable, pero las spoons, sí, o sea, las cucharadas, cucharadas. ¿Yes? ¿Sí entendemos eso? Entonces, cuando, y como en ese caso solo, solo va traffic, no va ninguna medida de cantidad, a lot of, no me denota que sea plural, ¿ok? Porque no hay cantidad, sino que es una, 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 sí es una cantidad, pero no sé cómo explicar. No hay un, un, un noun ahí antes, ¿verdad? De esa, por ejemplo, es un noun. Aunque sea una medida de cantidad, pero es una medida, es una medida, pero a la vez es un noun. ¿Sí? ¿Sí entendemos ahí? No, pero ya lo vamos a ver. <risa> Dice, is there too much traffic in Soyapango? Excelente. ¿Cuánto tiempo se hace ahora en San Salvador para ir a un trabajo? Un montón, ¿verdad? Y eso que gente de la zona. Un ejemplo, por ejemplo, yo no conozco. No conozco. How many, uh, is, it was, how many hours How many hours do you do you spend in the traffic? Uh -huh. no. How many hours do you spend in the traffic? In traffic when you travel to, to work. Muy bien. 
Tres horas de Soyapango a Colonia Escalón. Y digamos sin tráfico, ¿cómo cuánto es? O sea, es que no sé qué distancia hay. Por un minuto. Padre santo. O sea que, hace un paréntesis, o sea que no tiene cuenta trabajar siempre ahí. Hay que salir de temprano siempre. Yo viajo yeah. a veces de Santa Ana a Santa, de Santa Elena. Ajá. Y hay veces que me voy a las 4, 4, 15 y llego a las 8 y media. Padre. Estamos santo. hablando de 4 horas y media casi, a veces 5. Qué crueldad, va. <laughs> sí. Uh, teacher, can I say uh, how much birds are in the world? How much birds? Birds. Uh -huh. No. Porque los verbos sí los podemos contar. Verbos, dijo. Verbs. No. Pájaros. Verbs. Verbs. Y yo los verbos. Ahí, son contables los pajaritos, son contables. How okay. many? Okay. How many birds? Ajá, birds, birds, birds. 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 Entonces podemos birds. decirle que there are many birds in the world. ¿Sí? Or a lot of. Okay. Ajá. Porque no sabemos, pues, no son. There are. Okay. Hay muchos. Hay three birds en my, in my ventanas, ¿cómo es? Window. <laughs> window, window, in my windows. Nice. Let's, let's see, quiero ver. Yo me confundo con eso, teacher, con el many, much many. Ahorita lo vamos a ver, quiero, ahorita estoy viendo la... Porque many es cuando yo puedo contar los pajaritos. Ajá. Uh -huh. There are, uh, there are two beers in my window. Ajá, uh -huh. así es. Yeah. Así es. Es que acuérdense que el there are and there is, Diana, perdón. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, how can I say it? ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma como en este caso de moverte desde Santa Ana hasta San Salvador? How sería how much time? Quiero ver how much time does does it take? Quiero ver sería how how much time? Um, quiero ver si se lo puedo hacer. Puede ser how much time do you? Do you spend? Do you spend? How much time do you spend to travel from? ¿De dónde? Eh, puede ser de cualquier lugar. Solo para como para preguntarle ah, a una persona. Sería, how much time do you spend uh, to travel from Santa Ana to San Salvador? Así. Okay. Hoy puede poner así. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Entonces decimos there is and there are, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que el there is es para singular, que está cerca, this, ¿sí? Y, y, el, y este, el that siempre es para qué? Esos, los que están lejos. Los que, el, el que está lejos porque es uno, ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces, there is es el que tengo yo, ¿verdad? There is, por ejemplo, algo que tenga nada más una cosa. En, quiero ver. There is a, 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 a bottle of water in my house. Example. Ajá. ¿Sí? Singular. There is a. ¿Sí? There is a book. For, for example, there is a book. There is a book on my table. ¿Sí? There is a dog in my house. ¿Cómo? There is a dog in my house. There, There is a cat in my house. Yes. 
There is a dog in my house. Excellent. Just one. Solo uno. ¿Ok? Y ahora, ¿qué pasa? Hola. Si hubiera, por ejemplo, tres perros, diría, there are many pets or dogs in my house. Yes. In the case you know the, the, the numbers, you can say there are three dogs in my house. ¿Ok? Excellent. Entonces, esa es la diferencia, Álvaro. There is singular, there are plural, ¿ok? Plural, ok. Eso sí me queda claro, clarito. Ahora vamos a ver este, lo que les decía en la plataforma, ¿ok? There is one, there are much. En el caso, sí. There o is. many. Uh -huh. Por lo menos si usted dice there is a, el a ya denota que es uno, Álvaro, ¿ok? Ok. It's for singular, okay? Okay, teacher. Let me avisan si logran ver. I can watch. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to that exists in it. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's gonna help us to understand when we're gonna use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars, uh, we are gonna use too many. And when we're gonna use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non-count noun and therefore we're gonna use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also gonna talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present this chart for now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're gonna have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead as I am talking about that. I'm going to go ahead and write the example. So, so let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. Okay. Um, and just so that we can keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors uh, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression, there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't, and then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't 
combination of parts. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cars. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject, then we need should. After that, we're gonna need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's gonna be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it could be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this will be followed by a verb. It could be the verb to be, but it could be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count now that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion. So it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's, it's something similar. So um, it's quite similar. We're going to say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model, right? We need more, and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city, but now I'm going to do it with non count nouns. So what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discuss how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes, that's a countable. We need more public transportation, that's a non-countable. Mm. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses, there isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always gonna treat non-countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we could say, there is too much traffic. And what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose. And there's our example. We have a subject that is followed by the verb. And then this is followed by either too much or enough. And then we have a non-count now. So the example, there is too much traffic. Let me give another quick example. There is too much, I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. There isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model group. Okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should, be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less, say, um, I'm going to change these words now and instead of too much or not enough or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay? Because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should. And then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more and whatever non-count that exists. 
the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. <clears throat> and I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay. Ya vimos que el too much, por lo general, es too more, se utilizan como cuando es más que, que la, que, que más, ¿verdad? O sea, más que mucho, por decir así. Too many, too much. Entonces, veamos, identificamos cuál es el uso de, de ellos. ¿Quién me puede dar algún ejemplo? There is too much clothes. There is too much clothes. Yes, right. In the world, let's say, it's right. What else? There is, uh, there are too much crime. Uh huh. Excellent. What about guys? Uh, there is too much garbage on streets, right? Yes. It's a problem for us. Yes. Uh -huh. Teacher, hello. There is much books. Sería, entonces sería there are. There are much there are books. Too many. There much are too books. many books, right? Money, okay. Uh -huh. Como es contable. Correcto. Entonces sí, sí hay muchos libros, la verdad. What else? There is too much people in the street. There are too much. Porque there are too much. La, la gente es contable. Yes. yes, there are too, too many, too many. Okay. There are too many people on, on, yes, on street. Excellent. What else, guys? There are too many birds on the sky. Yes, yes. But in this case, it's good, right? There are many words. Yes. We need, we need more, we need more universities in the country. Excellent. We need more, excellent, universities in our country. Excellent. Thank you, Silvita. Teacher. No. There are more short. Era. Porque las shorts sí se pueden contar. Era, ok. Excellent. Thank you, Evelyn. Can I say sure. that? <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Sorry. Can I say that there should be less taxes? Yes. There sure. should be less taxes. Excellent. There is many, many angry teacher. There is too much hungry people, you say? Gente con hambre, yes? Or no? Yes. There are. There are. Oh, there is. No, there are. There are, there are, there are many, many angry, yes? Hungry. Yes or no, teacher? Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Please. Okay. We did. Sorry, Mario. You arrived late to home. It's new conception, teacher. Ya me acordé. <laughs> okay, Alvaro. Aha, no hay example, guy. Diana iba a hablar. Diana. There are oh, hello. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I no, said my you, example, you. but okay. Uh, there should be less taxes in the country. Excellent. That was my example. <laughs> Excellent. There aren't enough 
hospitals in the country. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Ya ven, hemos entendido, ¿verdad? Recuerde que el too much y too many y el more, o sea, son como que, que se exceden los límites, por decir así, pero en cuestiones negativas, ¿verdad? Por eso decimos, it's too hot, o sea, demasiado caliente el clima, ¿verdad? Let's see. Este señor no deja de hablar, pero... Let's see, permítame buscar el otro. Ahorita, ay, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Qué le pasó? Me derró. Vamos a ver si lo que No me derró la plataforma. Ustedes tienen acceso a la a la plataforma. Let me check. No, está caída. Ah, verdad que se ha caído. Bueno. De seis. Verdad, no, es que se ha caído. De la nada. No bloquearon el, la plataforma. Bueno. Se va a acabar, así me parece a mí. Ha caído una grande, quiero ver. Vamos a trabajar entonces en otra cosa, quiero ver. ¿Quiénes de los que están aquí este, pueden participar? Quien no, levánteme la mano, mejor, así hagamos. Quien no, quien no pueda participar porque está trabajando. Jamie, Edith y creo que este Vladimir. Vale, entonces vamos a trabajar. Vladimir y Carlos, son cuatro, ¿verdad? Compartir la pantalla, teacher. Hola. Necesita compartir la pantalla del próximo video de la plataforma. Sí, ya le apareció. Uh, no, si necesita para que le ayude, le comparto. Ah, gracias. Es que se ha caído, Silvita. Ah, ok. Pero gracias, sí, eso quería. Ah, vamos, José Mario tampoco puede participar, ¿verdad? Yo guardo todo, niña. Ya quiero ver, igual lo voy a meter en grupo, ¿sí? Solamente que los que saben, ¿verdad? Vean los compañeros que... Ellos no van a participar, ¿verdad? Solo van a estar de oyentes. Ok. Ok. Sin, que, uh, sin meternos en temas políticos, por favor. No vayan a mencionar nada político. No vaya a ser. Este, ok. Discuss with your group about the problems that El Salvador has. Ok. Y no los mismos temas, no hablemos de esos, de los que ya sabemos, sino que 
For example, let's talk about university, education, about how to how to educate our children. See ¿sí? the cosas así, okay? Hablemos de eso. For example, um, that a lot of people prefer to start working after elementary school. O sea, mucha gente empieza a trabajar. Hablemos de esos problemas, ¿sí? No hablemos de, de otras cosas. ¿sí? De, digamos de problemas así como de la niñez, about childhood, the use of cell phones in children. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. La plataforma al regresar, al ingresar de modo con en serio. Ay, no. No, pues ya nos bloquearon a nosotros. Ok. De eso quiero que discutan. Ok. In English. Yes. Okay. Quiero ver cuándo yes. son. Um, uh, ¿Qué pasó, Norita? Hola. Se le cortó, Norita. Hola. Norita. No, se congeló. Hola, Norita, se congeló. Hola. Ahorita sí, ya. Ok, ok, ok. Um, um, I... I would like to talk about the... Manorita, uh, yes. Lo voy a meter a los, perdón, se traba. Cash program. Norita se me traba. Um, for pasa? example... Uh, Norita? Yes, yes. I, 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 my, my, my internet is not working. Qué lástima. Vamos a trabajar. Ahorita, si me alcanza a escuchar, vamos a trabajar en grupos. Ya los voy a meter a, a los grupos, ¿ok? Ajá, Mario. Eh, no, era una pregunta similar porque ahorita tuve problemas también yo de conexión. Ahora parece que ahorita ya todo está bien. Así que, ¿en sí cómo era la actividad? Porque lo, logré conectarme y cuando estaba diciendo acerca de chai, y cosas haciendo cosas del trabajo. Okay. Ahí fue lo único que escuché. Ah, bueno. este, lo que vamos a hacer es nos vamos a meter en los breakout rooms ya lo voy a meter yo este, vamos a hablar about uh, problems in El Salvador por ejemplo uh, when people decide uh, to start working after elementary school por ejemplo uh, the use of cell phones in children or in teenagers uh -huh. uh, that For example, parents have to work hard and they don't have time for their children, ¿sí? Problemas así. O sea, que los papás tienen que trabajar demasiado, no tienen tiempo. De esos problemas vamos a hablar, ¿sí? No de otros, ¿ok? Ok, son 24, quiero ver, voy a hacer... Para que participen, quizás de tres lo voy a poner. De tres y, y, y para que dentro del grupo haya alguien que no participe. Si de repente en su grupo le tocó los dos que lo, lo que no podían estar y solo le toca a usted, pues hable con, con, con usted misma, a mí misma. Okay. No, mentiras, ahí me aviso, ¿ok? Para meterlo en otro grupo. Vamos a ver.
Yo creo que con su ya podemos mantener. Ajá, sí está bien eso. Va, nos vemos, guys. ¿Qué pasó, Claudita, Norberto, Sofi? No se pudieron conectar. ¿Qué pasó? No, claro, no. No sabe. Bueno, ya que están ustedes tres aquí, aquí quédense. Aquí quédense, yo no lo voy a interrumpir, practiquen aquí. Ok. Hoy. Me voy. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, Silvia. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Okay, let's start. Okay. Can you tell me? Uh, what do you what think? Do you think? About... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, let, uh, let me think about the problem. Uh, we we have in in our country something something problem. Okay, we listen listen to you. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I talk about. Hello. Okay, one one problem I I think is the teacher said that the fathers need to go to work and and the children are alone in house some sometimes that's a big problem because uh, the children um, are alone and. He needs to ent entertain with other um, things like uh, cell phones, computers, and they um, can enter in in wrong or bad pages, I think, or uh, make fr uh, bad friends or neighbors. Yeah, uh, uh, I think I think that uh, my well, opinion the same. Uh, but I think that in uh, the worst problem that uh, we have uh, for me is is or oh, are um, uh, are are facing is the lack of attention due to social networks. There yes. is, 
there is a lot of responsibility on the part of parents uh, towards their children by not um, uh, measuring them. It's easy to communicate with with trained people. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, so uh, this problem is for me is the worst uh, because also the father uh, is in the Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and her children's or his children is in dog. <laughs> other, in other place. And I think that is a work problem at, uh, at the moment. Yes, the technology with children is the, the worst problem nowadays. Yes, there is a lot of responsibility on the part of parents. I think so. Yeah, you're right, but uh, parents need to money for um uh, for uh, gave the the most uh, give the most important uh, to the their children so it's a big problem in in case that he that uh, they can uh, put a baby sister uh, take uh, taking care of uh, mm -hmm. the, the children. The baby sister is a tablet, is a cell phone. <laughs> yes, you're right. The, the most uh, part of the time uh, yeah. with people have that problem uh, that don't have a other other person who take care of the children, like mother or grandfather or uh, whatever, the baby sister is only only the tablet or or, the, or cell phone or computer, like you say. Yes. Yes. And what what's a what about Claudia? I don't know if Claudia is here. Claudia, are you here, Claudia? So I, what other problem we have uh, or in our country or around the world? What do you think? Mm, the oh, same, I think, is the, the same problem around the world because uh, the technology is bad for children. And mm -hmm. sometimes parents uh, can't do to care to care the, the children. Yes. Uh, for me, other other problem is the education. The education, the system of the school. Oh, this is very, very bad. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the, the teachers uh, leave a lot of homework to the children and their parents uh, don't uh, help the children mm -hmm. because the same problem because uh, they have to, to work and and bring money and and don't have time for for take care about it uh, about them. Yes, uh, but I think that um, for uh, a, a part, uh, the problem is parent, uh, 
uh, but it's a little. The more uh, problem I think that is in the teacher uh, because uh, uh, something the teacher um, uh, doesn't don't prepare your, cl your class. And for example, I have a children and, and he uh, uh, tell me that uh, her teacher or his teacher, um, I don't know how to say it in English. The, 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 the fathers or their, their parents no. uh, left um, <laughs> the, the responsibility to the teachers. Yes, yes. Este, bueno, pero mi niño me contaba de una maestra <ríe> que este, él le, le hacía como una preguntita, ¿verdad? Y le decía a la maestra, ay, y eso ahí está en el libro. <ríe> Entonces, uh -huh. este, creo yo de que eh, eh, en la mayoría de los casos, el the problem is, is, the, is, is in the teacher. Because uh, many parents also, uh, they, uh, no son personas estudiadas. No hay forma de que puedan ayudar. Yes, you thought a little, right? <laughs> Some uh, parents uh, didn't study. Uh, they study since sec second grade or sixth grade mm. but no more and they don't have don't don't know the topics about the 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 homework the teachers mm. leave the the children yes this is the reason uh, because in our country, I I don't have genius, <laughs> genius. Uh, uh, por la fal es esa falta de compromiso de parte de muchos maestros y bueno el sistema educativo mismo ¿verdad? que a veces um, De hecho, ya dan los lineamientos, pero tener la oportunidad de verlos, de ver los, los, ay, ¿cómo se le llama esto? Los cosas anuales que ponen el sistema educativo. Están muy completos, muy completos, la verdad, pero. Eh, sí. Hey, girls, thank you, girls. Ahí ya las dejé aquí porque no, no se pudieron unir a los grupos. Entonces, por eso estaban practicando todavía y no las quería interrumpir. La falta de exacto. Ya, ya <ríe> ok. Ah, por cuestiones de tiempo. Mmm, quizás mañana. Ok. ¿Quién quiere participar? Ok. Who wants to share? Me, teacher, what do you need? Okay, for example, uh, I want to know what uh, you were discussing. What, repeat the question, please. Yes, what you were discussing. For example, hey, teacher, we were talking about uh, this and this, okay? Okay, uh, we, uh, I talking about with only Sophia, uh -huh. about um, uh, the, problem, the problem of the uh, is, is educative system in our country. Educational system, yes. Uh, we talking about uh, the worst problem that we have in our country and around the world, that is the, um, the, there is the uh, networks 
and uh, about the parents irresponsible? Irresponsible parents, yes. Uh, we're talking about also um, about the, the parents uh, that works a lot of and they don't have time uh, for your kids. Mm -hmm. uh, only that. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Diego, do you want to share with us? Okay. I talk about like three topics <laughs> with Diana. Uh -huh. uh, we talk about uh, mm, like information or content in internet mm -hmm. because Diana uh, said that she has a son and she doesn't allow uh, him to watch some kind of content in the cell phone. For example, uh, some YouTube videos or something similar. Yeah. Uh, she preferred to, to allow him to uh, play some videos because there are too much uh, trash content on the internet. And mm -hmm. we say that, for example, uh, in Wikipedia, Wiki, Wikipedia uh, we have a lot of information, but it's too much trash information because it's for free use. And we talk about uh, uh, pollution, but at the same time, education uh, of the people, because we see uh, too much well, uh, sorry, uh, too many people in the buses, for example, uh, throw, throwing trash to the street and that it's not okay. We we think that is a problem about our education. And, and, and we say something that we really want to say in that moment, hey, that it's not okay. But, you know, uh, in the country it's, uh, the education is not enough, maybe, for understand that. And yeah, we talk about that. Okay, thank you, Diego. Okay, uh, the rest of you guys for tomorrow, okay? Remember for tomorrow, okay? At the beginning of the class, you are going to share with us, okay? Thank you, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.